Hey folks, back with another video. In this video, I will look into the South Carolina primary. Let's dive in. So over the weekend, South Carolina held its primary for 2020. And here are the final results. Joe Biden won 256,047 votes which uh, came to a 48.4% of the total vote and that landed him with a 39 delegates by the end. Bernie Sanders won 105,197 votes which came to 99.9% .9 of the vote, just under 20% and that gave him uh, 13 delegates. And, of course, Tom Steyer, who won 59,893 votes, which was about 11.3% of the total vote, and it gave him two delegates. This is actually the first time Tom Steyer has actually gotten some delegates, so congratulations, Tom Steyer, for actually winning delegates. And the rest of the crowd did get votes, but not enough to muster any delegates. Did not pick any. Sadly, they all lost in that regard. Now, so what do these results add to in the total result so far? You know, in the grand scheme of things so far, what have they done for each candidate. So as you can see Bernie Sanders total votes from all the four elections held has been 260,754 and his total delegate count is 60 when putting him in the lead as far as delegate counts is concerned. Joe Biden came second with 325,683 votes now, Joe Biden leads in the total vote count, but in the critical delegate situation, he has only 54. And then we have Mayor Pete Buttigieg, who won a total of 169,737 votes, and he has, as a result of that, got 26 delegates. And the other candidates each got less than 10 delegates, so there's no point talking about them. So who are the winners of the South Carolina primary? Joe Biden was the big winner of this. I mean, South Carolina has put him back on the viability category. Though he's not the front runner, but at least a close second, just six vote just six delegates behind Bernie Sanders. I mean surprisingly I think the moderates were also the winner in the South Carolina. I mean they showed that they can coalesce around somebody, which I did not expect. I mean Let's just say that in my last video, I thought that uh, J uh, Bernie Sanders was going to win this, but I was wrong. I, I had based this on just two fact, two factors, one being that uh, the moderate wing was uh, somewhat divided as to who picked some one person, and the progressive wing was more or less coalescing around Bernie Sanders. But, you know... And also there was the factor that the pollings were, let's just say, not doing a good accurate job of predicting or sensing the mood in general. Talking of polling, the South Carolina polling done was very good. I mean, I mean the polls had Joe Biden having about 44% on average and Bernie Sanders at 24% average. 
and of course Joe Biden won with uh, over 48 percent and Bernie Sanders with just under 20 percent and I mean they say take the polls with a grain of salt so I think polls along with taking it with a grain of salt they were kind of close I mean they might have been overcompensating for Bernie Sanders in South Carolina but you know a bit of here and there happens but I think overall I think the polls were right for the top two candidates and of course the winner of the South Carolina primary is the South Carolina primary itself it went without a hitch and I would like to extend congratulations to all the people who made this happen in South Carolina so you know hopefully the uh, coming elections can be as smooth as South Carolina well where there are winners there are losers and after the primary some did lose in my opinion Bernie Sanders was the loser in South Carolina he won less than 20 percent I mean I was expecting him to win at least at least 25 percent I mean he him coming at 20 percent it it just shows that Bernie Sanders might have some weaknesses that I am not able to pinpoint at this moment but he does seem to have some kind of weakness somewhere I, I'd have to think more about exactly where it is because he's gone from winning 40 50 percent and he's gone all the way to 20 percent and of course with Joe Biden it's the other way he's been coming at 20 percent roughly and then all of a sudden he's at 50 percent so there seems to be some kind of something is going on there that I can't quite put my finger on I'd have to think more about that and of course as a result and as an extension the progressive overall also lost in South Carolina or you know it, it, it is possible that you know the South Carolina is mostly like a moderate state so they they don't tend to have a lot of progressives in the state so if that's the case then we'd have to it's probably the case but I don't know so I, I it seems the progressives were not able to make a good case to at least come you know at 25 percent plus for Bernie Sanders and of course Elizabeth Warren uh, lost in South Carolina in fact South Carolina became part of the trend showing that Elizabeth Warren was on a decline I mean her highest was the third place in Iowa and then she has slowly lost her position to now becoming the fifth and I mean to Elizabeth Warren's campaign you need to do something really wild to win or you're just heading for a disaster and of course Amy Klobuchar was has also lost in South Carolina and not picking any delegate I mean even if she had picked one delegate I could have said okay you know she wants something you know could have given her something for a win but nothing and of course there is these results have been such that there have been some dropouts as of now Mayor Pete has dropped out and he has suspended his campaign which I think is a good decision on his part and along with him Tom Steyer I believe has also suspended his campaign well now he can save his money not wasting it for any more So, what does the South Carolina primary do for the future, as in the Super Tuesday and post Super Tuesday? I expect there are going to be dropouts immediately after Super Tuesday. Super Tuesday's results come out. I expect 
I, I'm thinking that Amy will drop out. I mean, I believe she will have enough. I think she has enough sense to realize that it's probably good for her to drop out if, if she is, if her trend comes out to be just fourth or fifth place for her, and and if she picks like in total ten states, if she gets anywhere less than ten delegates from the total, then her viability is just out of the window. At that point, she should just drop out, and then probably just give her not probably give her uh, what is this endorsement that's the word she could just in, provide indoor and then endorse the front runner or you know or endorse joe biden probably closer to her view i also think elizabeth warren is likely going to drop out i mean she has to drop out after that especially if she loses her home state at that point the argument does not exist for her i mean she's going to be hammered over by every one of her opponents that you couldn't even win your home state how do you expect to win the country which is going to be a powerful argument against her um with Tulsi Gabbard i just think that she will be the most stubborn or resistant to the idea of dropping from the race uh, i'm just not getting uh, i i'm not just getting i'm not getting the vibe that she will drop I, I get the vibe that she is in it till the end no matter what happens but hey you know maybe if she loses she might just go okay this enough is enough maybe next time telsey maybe next time now with the Mayor Pete and Tom Steyer dropping from the race. We have what I, I would think would be a three-way race at this point. You know, with, I mean, we've got Joe Biden who's showing strong and renewed energy in his campaign. With uh, Bernie Sanders having a momentum behind him. And Michael Bloomberg, the unknown in the whole Super Tuesday. So these three are going to present a, a dynamic okay, where we know that uh, Joe Biden is definitely poised to win some states and Bernie is poised to win, well, from what I can see in the stats, more states than Joe Biden. But it's Michael Bloomberg who is the unknown as to what kind of an impact will he have in the overall, you know, Super Tuesday. Now, I do expect Bernie Sanders to win the most and maintain his lead. But the question will be, will Joe Biden win enough delegates that he can plausibly put a roadblock to Bernie Sanders nomination we shall see we shall see on super and that would lead to if if the brokered convention uh, it's highly probable at this stage that we are you know by end of super Tuesday it will be confirmed but at this moment I think the brokered convention is it's right there. It's, uh, it's there with either Broker Convention or Bernie Sanders. Hopefully, Super Tuesday will uh, will give us a clarity. Hopefully, all the dust will settle and we know where each of the candidates stand. Thank you for watching. If you like my contact, content, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.